Good morning, Phoenix High School. I'm Jordan Stevens. And I'm Bailey Tony. Today we have a lot of important announcements, so listen up. First off, applications are being accepted for MedStars 2013. This is a highly competitive week-long camp. They will only be accepting 10 students from our region. Applications are due by April 5th, so make sure you do that. In other news, Miss Hale is being honored with the chance to be the first principal to go to outer space. She'll be taking leave to go to Jupiter and learn teaching skills to bring back to Earth. Congratulations, Miss Hale. Mediation training continues at lunch in Cornette's room. All students are welcome to attend. In other news, our own Mr. Cook Cook is leaving PHS to join the Circus de Soleil and will pursue his lifelong dream. Good luck to you on your journey to be a trapeze artist. For all you bookworms out there, we have a new selection of books that have joined our library's bookshelves. We have created a promotion to show you all of our new books that we have at our library. Let's take a look. Welcome to PHTV News, where we bring you sports, weather, and all the latest news updates. <coughs> it, it appeared an elected video of a couple weeks ago bombed in rating. Sorry, gentlemen. A big question on campus, Mrs. Hill, a high school principal, or a secret spy working for the government. The library has just come across some new books. We will now go to our live correspondent, Cody Holden. Cody? Y yes, I have the librarian here. She is going to explain the new books for the student body. Hi, Cody. We try to keep on top of the newest books that are coming out. I get, as series that are really popular, I'll try to, as soon as a new book comes out, we try to get them ordered and get them in here for the students. I try to keep a good selection of the books that the students want. And remember, if there's ever a title that you do want, just let me know and I'll try to get it ordered for you. Well, I'm quitting my job to become a librarian. Okay. That's the news for you. Now join us next time where we find out if Mrs. Hale is a spy or not. If you're interested in playing chess or if you have always wanted to learn, the Chess Club of PHS meets every Tuesday and Thursday during lunch in Miss Barton's room. You can learn to play or just improve your game. Over the break, if you didn't hear, Phoenix High School will soon be deemed a national landmark as it was recently discovered that our school was built on top of the United States' largest underground preservation of woolly mammoth remains. The remains started to show up when the track team was raking the long jump pit. As spring rolls around, one thing that will be hitting the Rose Street theaters is the spring musical. This year's musical is called Year in Town. We created a segment to show you just what this musical holds in store, so let's check it out. The disaster left no survivors. In other news, our school theater program are performing another play this spring. The play is a romantic comedy called You're in Town, the Musical. Let's go to our field reporter, Riley, for more information. All right, cool. And um, what is the play about? Well, You're in Town is about a place uh, in the future where they have been experiencing a 20-year drought. And much like most towns in Europe where the playwright got the idea, they now have to pay to pee, basically. Uh, and no one has a private bathroom. They have to use public amenities. And it is so full of irony that you just can't stop laughing. <laughs> well, that's cool. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now we go to the cast. Will they tell us more about the play and their part in the play? Ms. Brown, what do you do with the play? Well, I am the director, which means I am in charge of anything and everything and everybody that has to do with this show. So I'm directing, I am blocking, working with choreographers, musical directors, costumers. Yes, you name it, I'm in charge of it. Um, I'm a stage manager, so basically I write down blocking at rehearsals and um, I call actors who aren't there. And <laughs> during shows, I call the show, like I go over the headset and I tell people what to do and tell lights when to come on and all that stuff. Pretty exciting. Sweet, thank you. I am an assistant stage manager and so I basically do everything that the normal manager does when she's not there or she needs help. All right. What do you guys do with the play? <laughs> we do lights together and I help banners, posters, and painting the set. That's it. And I pretty much just uh, program lights and make sure they're placed on stage right. Thanks, Riley, for your report. Tickets will be on sale this spring at the front door. 
In FFA news, over the break, Phoenix High School had a great showing at the state convention. Lillian Tegner won first place in Creed and will be representing PHS at the National Convention in Louisville this fall. Belle Tegner took third place in state for job interview and our Ag Issues team took fourth. Congratulations to all FFA participants that took part in the, in the state convention. On Thursday, April 4th, there will be a meeting in Mr. Gola's room at lunch for all interested in joining the Ultimate Frisbee Club. All skill levels are welcome and no commitment is required. Many of us know that we have been reducing our tardies, and this is a big improvement from last year. One of our reasons we have had such a success is due to our new tardy policy, which has been put in place. We created a video to tell you, this to tell you how this policy works and how it has impacted our school. Roll it. Hi, I'm Lily, here at the PHTV studio. My co-anchor is not here yet, but I'm going to talk to you about tardies and detentions. My bad. Our field reporter is now in the hallway. Let's go see what she's up to. In the hallways, watching students walk to their class. This is what happens when you walk into class late. Now let's go check out what's going on in the detention room. <laughs> Why are you here today? I was late. Why are you here today? I was late. Why are you here today? I was late. Well, PHS, now you know what happens when you're late. So please do us a favor and don't be late to class. This is Avram's PHTV. Now back to you, Mr. Thank you, Avram, for that interesting report. All Sparrow Club members need to meet on Wednesday in room N420. The end of the year is coming faster than you think, and with the end of the year comes the senior slideshow. I know everyone is really excited to see that video, but we're not going to have one if you guys don't bring in your pictures. You can turn in your photo photos to the Manila folder on Mr. Rhodes' classroom door. Jordan, can you guess what time it is? Is it trivia time? <laughs> sure is. Last week's question was, how many students are being accepted from our region for the MedStars program? And the winner is... Kiana Patterson in Miss Sandy's advisory. Congratulations, Kiana. You will win an Applebee's gift card. <laughs> Uh, this week's question is, what is the name of the spring musical? As we wrap up our show, we would like to remind you to stick around for the pledge. As always, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news. Oh, and, and April, April Fools! Fools.